Today we will be reviewing these, uh, well, this Elasmotherium, Mammoth, Woolly Mammoth, and Remnotherium. And this is part two of my dollar store series. Again, we were just reviewing the best dollar store toys, or what I find are the best dollar store toys, and these were from the Ice Age, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so let's get on with the review. Number one, Elasmotherium. The Elasmotherium was a giant rhino-like creature, and it was very big. So now let's start off with the head. It's pretty nice. As you can see, um, I like its mouth. Its horn is pretty nice, except its paint is pretty bad on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is pretty bad. The nostril paint is a little bit off. And it's, and I'll just show you its back. Mm. Its nose horn, well, its other nose horn. Its eyes, okay. Its other eye is also okay. And under its feet aren't sculpted. It's very nice hair details, though. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of those. It has a big hump on the top. And it has a nice tail, too. And said, yeah, so it's overall, it's a pretty nice dinosaur. Well, not dinosaur, well, mammal. Okay, number two, the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth was a very large elephant-like creature. It was around, well, it was around when the first evolution of humans were not first, but starting in the first um, evolution of humans. Um, and scientists aren't sure why they went extinct. They, some of them think that it was because of hunting. Okay, so let's get on with the review. So first, it's tusks. It's tusks, are, tusks are pretty nice. That's a nice trunk. It has a little mouth on the bottom. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. Okay, so now if, see, it has a pretty nice head. I'm a big fan of these guys' sculpts. Um, yeah, so it's pretty nice, and it has a big hump on the back again. Sorry, the lighting's pretty bad right now, but... We're gonna have to make do with it. So now, it's nice fur details. Bottom of its foot isn't sculpted again. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like its head and its hair and stuff. And this one surprisingly doesn't have that line going through the middle where it's connects it together. I think, yeah, the Remnotherium has it, though, because uh, it's pretty tall, and, yeah, and it has those two holes in the top of its trunk. Yeah, so now let's move on to the Remnotherium. Remnotherium was basically a giant walking sloth, and I'm not sure if it lived around with the evolutions of humans. Um, yeah, so let's start. I like its head. It's a really nice head, and I'm impressed for a dollar store toy. It has a nice eye. Its other eye is nice. It's two, two nostrils. Its mouth is pretty cool. Uh, its ears are 
very nice as you can see it's back as a cool pattern and you could definitely see all that muscle that's in that arm right there you can see the texturing of it um the neck is nice it has lots of details it's arm you can see all the muscular um yeah, very muscular. Um, its other arm is also very muscular. Its claws are pretty nice. Um, this is no exaggeration. It did have huge arms and claws like this. It has nice fur details. It has a nice, it has nice eye details and stuff. It has this bottom of its feet are sculpted. I kind of like those. And it has nice claws and stuff. It's, a le its legs are muscular. But of course, as the tall, taller ones, it has the line going through the middle where it was connected together. Its tail is pretty nice. Back of its arm has nice details. And if you can see its eyes, they're pretty perfect. Yeah, so I really like this one. Its uh, feet are pretty nice too. Um, yeah, so that's gonna have to wrap up the review today. Please leave a like and subscribe, and bye bye.